Hey everybody, welcome back to Thermal Dog Outfitters. I'm Hector, I appreciate you coming back, and if it's the first time, hey, welcome. The, uh, this is the EcoFlow River Pro. It is a solar generator. Uh, you've already seen it in a couple of my videos uh, previously. If not, go back and check it out. It's a really neat, neat unit. I'm not gonna tell you everything that it can uh, run um, off of this unit. It's a 500, uh, I'm sorry, 712, I believe, uh, kilowatt hour uh, solar generator. Really, really cool generator. What I am going to show you is I've already showed you on the uh, on the second video how to hook it up to one panel. Well, I got in the mail, which I'm pretty excited about, is I got what we call well before I go into these. This this you could input up to 200 watts. Okay, so I, I've been asked how to you know how to hook it up uh, to this unit uh, to the 200 watts. I've been asked how to do the 100 watts. I've, I've been asked about you know the, these are Harbor Freight panels. Uh, that actually come out with they come with different connectors than what the unit this is the connector for the unit and as you remember in the previous uh, videos this is the connector that goes into the unit but it comes with these what they call mc4 connectors these are not what this panel comes with it comes with an sae connector uh, so that's kind of an issue right so on the last video i showed you how you can order an adapter it's about a 12 dollar adapter that way you can hook up a harbor freight panel to this unit which is pretty cool however it's a 100 watt panel this will take up to 200 watts which is a really kind of a big deal because that's you want to be able to bring in as much as you can when you're charging it so now i have 200 watt panels but we only had it set up to connect to one adapter well guess what i ordered a second adapter for this panel so we have one for this panel and we have one for this panel right the problem is i can only hook up one connector so how do i make it well I ordered for about another, I think it was about uh, 13 bucks, these parallel connectors where I can hook up both of these panels to these connectors and then boom, connect right to these. So I'm going to show you today how to connect two panels and make them into one panel, connect them in parallel, and then be able to connect them into here and see how many watts we can get out of these panels. The It is about 50 degrees outside, it's not too bad, The uh, it's not overcast. Uh, it's not a bright day. It is uh, what's? It is February, you know. So we're to, somewhere around the 22nd, 23rd, oh, 25th, 25th, I think. But the uh, somewhere around there. So we're gonna connect these up and see how it goes. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer so you can see how I'm hooking these up, and the, uh, then we're gonna connect it to the to the solar generator and see how many watts we can get. Ready? Let's do it. All right, everybody. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you my face. You don't need to look at my face. It's an ugly face anyway. Okay, so. Here again, this is the one connect. This is the the one the SAE for the one panel, which is this panel right here. And what we're going to do is going to connect 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 the adapter. Now remember, when you get the adapter, this is this it comes with this adapter right here, plus this little piece. Remember, if it's a Harbor Freight panel, okay? If it's a Harbor Freight panel, don't ask me why. But on the other energy panel, the ones that come with these connectors already on them, this one is kind of a reverse polarity. Don't ask me why. So you got to make sure if you're hooking up a Harbor Freight panel, if you're hooking up an SAE adapter, it also comes with this. In your kit, it comes with this piece here. You want to make sure that you hook that up. There you go. And then hook it up to the panel. There you go. Now, you, now it's connected and it's reversed the polarity to, to the direction that you need it to be. Okay, so that's the, that's the one panel. Let's quickly go into the next panel. Here we go. This next panel is, let's, let's see, again, and I apologize, as you can see right here, you got the shadow of my, of my, uh, of my phone recording it, this whole thing, so we're going to plug this piece in again, like we said, plug it in there, and then plug the adapter, and now you're ready, that's panel number, panel number two, you're ready to go, okay, let's fix this a little bit, all right, I wanted to get rid of the shadow a little bit there, okay, so now, you have two panels, you should be right here, Two, two separate panels, boom. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna connect them to these parallel connectors to make it into one. Now, it's gonna be really easy. You're gonna hook up both reds, both positive. And again, make sure you wanna, that you hooked it up in there, both positives to the same connector. Pretty simple. You can't mess it up because that's the connectors will only go into one spot. It's kind of It kind of makes it really nice because you don't have to really think about it. So now you get the next connector this is the other one. Again, you see, you can't mess it up. You 
can't mix them up. And then here's the other one. And now, two negatives, two positives. Look at that. Two negatives, two positives. And now they go into one. So we're good, good. Now, now we can connect it, connect, connect, connect it, connect it, <laughs> connect it up to the 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 part that comes with this unit. And we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Right, nice, nice locking. Make sure it locks. You want to make sure that these lock, especially if you have these outside. They have they're, they're sealed, which is a nice rubber uh, O-ring in there that seal it really good. So especially if you leave this, if you're going to be sending these outside, uh, if it does rain, and moisture's not getting into these as well. Okay, so now guess what? Everything's connected. Uh, we are ready to hook this up into our unit. Woo wee, man! I'm excited about this. I want to see how much power we're going to get out of this. Uh, let's go ahead and try it. Okay, hold on here. Okay, everybody. So we've got. Uh, Got everything hooked up like we said we're ready to connect this to the to the solar generator and see how uh see what we got i apologize i'm not sure if you're seeing the same thing i think you are it's the uh, trying to record it and it's it's it looks funny but just so you know it's saying that i have 99 hours but that's because i've not got nothing connected it's at 74 percent i've got nothing nothing uh coming in and nothing going out as far as uh using uh using power so now we're going to hook up both of those panels and I'm seeing how much we can get out of those 200 watt panels. Again, 50 degrees outside. It's a nice sunny day, but it's not you know really intense. Let's see what we get out of it. Here we go. Here we go. We've hooked it up. Hopefully I did it right. Oh, oh, they're 15, 24, 33, 40, 50, 62, 71, 80, 90, 99, 108, 170, 126, 134, 142, 155. Wow, that shot up up there quite a bit. For some reason it came right back down. But it's climbing back up again. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what you, we've got. A hundred and sixty, hundred almost a hundred, hundred sixty-nine watts. We've got hundred and sixty-nine watts of power. And what this is telling me right now, we were at seventy-four, hundred seventy watts now. We're at seventy-five percent efficient on the pan, on the uh, on the unit, seventy-five percent charged. Uh, and it's telling me that in an hour, that in one hour, because of those panels that we've got hooked up, this will be charged to one hundred percent because uh, we're getting 170 watts uh, coming into this. I don't know about what you guys think, but this is very, very cool. I am very excited. It's a simple little setup. As you can see, there's the, the unit. There's the cords running right from the panels, two panels. And wow, this is, this is just awesome. This is just awesome. Let's see, look at that, look at that. I've got... I got in front of them, so the parts so of the uh, so a little bit less is coming in, but now it's coming back up again. It's 169, 170, 170 watts. Wow, that is way cool! Way cool. All right, team. So, I just basically showed you how to hook up uh, uh, uh how to hook up, pa hook up panels. That's a gimme, right? So, I just showed you how to hook up two Harbor Freight panels. You can hook up any panels. Most of the most of the panels come in with the MC4 connectors, like the connectors I was just showing you. The uh, the Harbor Freight panels come with SAE, so you can buy adapters. They cost about twelve bucks. The uh, the um, uh, and same thing with the parallel connectors. They're about twelve sixteen bucks somewhere around there. Not very expensive. So that's how you hook up panels to at least to the echo flow you and oh by the way you can do the same thing with other units you just need to make sure that you understand how much you're allowed to uh, uh how many watts of power you're able to bring into the unit this unit happens to be 200 watts that i can bring into it and that's 100 watts uh each panel but you also need to know the amperage so make sure that you check that out the uh but man this is us amazing i've got 170 watts of power coming into this unit it's going to have it charged in our Again, why is that important? If you're somewhere and you're camping or whatever the case, you want to be able to charge it pretty quickly, and this gives you that option to be able to take some panels with you uh, while you're out camping, or if you're if you're if you're at the deer lease and you're hunting, this is the perfect uh, unit for you. Also, if you're in an apartment, you know, if there's an emergency, and, and it doesn't have to be apartment only, but I specifically say for apartments, if it's an emergency, you lost power, you've got you've got nothing. Uh, these units are really quick, and I really love the Echo Flow River Pro. The reason is, is because it's such a fast charger. Uh, it's one of the fastest charging units that's out there. And so, if you have these panels, you put them out in your balcony, you'll be able to, you know, hook it up to this thing and get it charged. 
uh, and you can use it at the same time. It's called pass-through charging, so you can be using it and charging it at the same exact time, which is really cool. So you can be watching TV, playing on your computer, whatever you need to do, and chances are you're going to be using less wattage than what it's what you're putting in. So that'll keep it charged all day for you in an emergency while you're running whatever you need to run. Uh, de again, depending on how much wattage it takes, uh, the uh, I happen to be able to run my laptop, a uh, screen, so that the kids could watch uh, 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 cartoons or whatever, and I still be able to charge my phones. I have a light as well, so the uh, pretty cool, and I, and I can do that all day with about 60, 70 watts, and I got 170 watts coming in here, so that'll keep this thing top charged all day long. And then when it gets dark, I can still use it. I uh, just got to be careful how much I use it. I can, but using the same uh, uh, items that I just told you at about 70 watts, uh, this thing will last me for 10, 12 hours uh, running those. So that'll get me through the night, no problem, because I'm not going to stay up all night doing it, obviously, right? But that'll get me through it. Uh, so that's what's so neat about being able to have this kind of a unit, being able to hook up a, a couple of solar panels to it. And again, so being able to hook up two panels, you're going to need the adapter. If, if it's a Harbor Freight panel, you're going to need the adapter kit, and the, which I showed you. And if it's not a Harbor Freight panel, however it comes with the MC4, you're going to need the parallel connectors to be able to connect two panels together and make it into one. Uh, that's how you do it. It's really simple. You can find it on Amazon. Uh, they're like about 16 bucks for the parallel connectors, not a whole lot of money. Uh, and you'll be able in no time to be able to charge these up. You can buy the special uh, solar panels that they sell for these and other other products. But why? If you can, if you can get some cheap panels that do the same exact thing, these are Harbor Freight panels. I uh, ran me about... Uh, they got them on sale probably about uh, I'm thinking about 85 bucks somewhere about in there 90 bucks a piece and so the so for about 180 bucks roughly I got two 200 watts of uh, panels and the uh, if I only need one I only need one if I use two I use two the uh, to make it charge it faster uh, you can buy some of the kits that they sell out there they're, they're a little bit expensive on, and when you buy some of those solar panel kits that you know foldable ones all that they get they're nice and some of them be able to fold whatever the case into a kit I get it but if you want to save some money, this is this is the way to go and the easiest way to do it. So I uh, hope that helped you. Uh, if you got any questions, you know, leave a comment down there. And uh, that's it. Hey, have, have a happy American Day. I uh, uh, keep watching the, our videos. We'll be bringing out some more stuff for you. Well, I've got a, I've got another smaller. The, somebody asked me about my smaller uh, solar generator uh, unit that I have for my for my pack, my go bag. And you know, yes, I do have a same system that fits in my backpack on a smaller scale uh, for the basic stuff to, to make sure I charge my radios and stuff like that up in an emergency situation, charge my phones, whatever. Uh, it's kind of pretty cool. So I will do a, a, a video on that one uh, here in the next bit. So hang around, watch some videos. Thanks. Hey, hit the notification button. Hit the like. Hit all that good stuff. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.